On my side, we have a regular plastic isolator that we're all familiar with. And on this side is a SCARME fire rated isolator. And in this video, we're gonna see what happens with a real fire. Let's get this fire started. So the next stage requires a responsible adult, and we didn't have any of those at Lineside Studio, so Gordon had to step forward for this. Let's talk about my side of the rig. I've got that plastic isolator in there. I've got 20 millimeter PVC conduit, and within that I've got 2.5 millimeter squared PVC singles, and they go all the way up to my flashing beacon. Well, I've got the same flashing beacon. We'll see which one fails first, but down from the beacon, we've got a mineral insulated cable, which is the Rolls-Royce of fire performance cables, sometimes known as Pyrotenex, but other brands are available into the SCARME isolator from the FR series. Uh, which is drilled out uh, to suit the installation that we have here and then back to our power supply. So before we have a raging fire on our hands, what's our fallback plan for safety, Gordon? Well, we take safety very seriously here at the eFix Fire Performance Safety Test Center and we've got Rick on hand. He's currently reading the instructions for a fire safety stick. As the fire starts to build up, I'm sure everybody watching this video has either come across by seeing these being installed or have installed the plastic style of isolators themselves. So when are we gonna come across these fire rated ones? Okay, so fire rated designed for equipment that needs to keep operating in a fire situation, so that's mainly smoke extraction fans that you typically find in car parks, underground car parks, or on the roof of buildings to obviously ventilate them when you've got smoke and a fire. So clearly you really do want those to keep operating as long as possible, because obviously people have got to exit the building, firefighters might be going into the building to rescue people. So apart from the obvious then, what's the difference between my plastic isolator and your one from Scarmin? Okay, obviously, Standards always creep in whenever something safety critical. So these are tested to EN 12101-3. I'm sure everybody has read it. But the things important there are temperature. So the, the temperature it will withstand and the time it will withstand that temperature for. So this isolator here is designed to withstand 200 degrees Celsius for 120 minutes. Uh, SCARMA do have another range that goes up to 400 degrees C which is obviously a more extreme fire. And I must point out during our test here, highly controlled here, we've exceeded that 200 degree limit. And we've just learned that our thermal camera stops measuring at 580 degrees. As we delve onto the data sheet, I can see it's IP66, which makes logical sense because you said this extraction system may be on the roof of a building, therefore the isolator would be outside. They're also IK10, but now I'm thinking about its isolation. What can we do with that? Okay, so it can be locked in the off position, as you'd expect for, for maintenance and safety, but also locked in the on position because this is a safety critical device. You wouldn't want someone tampering with that equipment. Now looking at the other electrical aspects of it, because it's connected to motor loads, we can see there an AC23A rating. So those for highly inductive switching. And this range will go up to an incredible 630 amps, or as I like to call it, an enormous fan. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. So we learned a few other things in that video, didn't we, Gary? We learned that if you read the instructions of the fire safety stick, it clearly says on there that it will not put out fires of the red hot coal variety. And we tried it and it didn't work. Mm. And I've also just taken the mineral insulated cable a little bit to the limit with the blowtorch, and it just proves how much temperature those cables can take. And we often think about the cables, but not necessarily what's connected to them. And the other thing we've learned is that uh, actually water still does put out fires. And before anyone gets busy in the comments saying, oh, electrical fires and water, the voltages we've used in this test are at the safety extra low voltage end from our lab power supply. So uh, we wouldn't suggest repeating that at home. However, if you did, it was a tremendous amount of fun we had at Lineside Studios today. But as I look over, your eyesight looks unrecognizable. However, we did put this SCARMI one through a little bit higher temperature maybe than it was designed to do. So if you want to see a really beautiful SCARMI isolator, which I would suggest this was at the start, I'll check out the video that we made just over there. Okay.